Of course, we all despise behaviors such as arrogance, lying, selfishness, blah, blah, blah. And I thought it would be arrogant of me to talk about my turn ons because A, who cares? And B, it wouldn't be helpful to anyone. So I thought I would uh, talk about my turn offs and not in terms of something like height or eye color, which uh, you cannot control, but rather things like appearance and grooming, which you can control and will help you become much more handsome. What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nerges, meaning daffodil flower. And here in this little corner, I talk about various topics related to Iran, Persian language and myself as an Iranian. I'd be grateful if you tap the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it to watch my future videos as well. Okay, what could turn me off or even disgust me? Not in a particular order. One, a big belly, which could be a beer belly. I don't think any girl would find this attractive, uh, but to me, it's not just the way it looks, which is horrible, especially with your belt under it. But also, it tells me something about your personality, your views. I mean, this is what your big belly tells me. Hi, Nergis. I would like to introduce you Mr. So-and-so, who is a massive drinker, doesn't give a crap about his health or his appearance, eats a lot, eats unhealthy, and never works out. Look. No one's talking about shredded abs or something like that here. Just flatten that curve a bit. Two, drop crotch pants or joggers. Boys, I have a suggestion for you. Whatever pants, trousers or joggers you're wearing, have someone photograph you from behind. I'm sure at least some of you will have second thoughts on your bottom section of clothing. Drop crotch juggers will make your legs look short and also you will look like a toddler in diaper, which is probably full of crap. Pun definitely intended. 3. Earrings. Especially when there's some shiny gemstone on them. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the close-minded, no jewelry for men type of person. I'd rather love some rings, bracelets and neck pieces on men. But to me, earrings would make you look somewhat less macho. 4. A smelly breath. Whether it's because of smoking, alcohol, gum problems, whatever. Clear enough, I suppose. 5. Overplucked brows. Do I even need to say that this makes you look girly? So don't do it! But again, I'm not saying men shouldn't touch their eyebrows. <laughs> you should, which brings me to my next number. 6. Bushy eyebrows. Guys, who said having brows that look like a tarantula's legs is attractive? A little cutting and plucking will make you look much more handsome. And especially if you have a monobrow or unibrow, do yourself a favor and wax the heck out of it. 7. Armpit hair. Holy guacamole! <laughs> I can't even begin to say how disgusting this one is to me. It looks horrible and it's not hygienic, which brings me to 8. Body odor. I'm talking to this nice, polite and handsome guy and I'm thinking, wow. And suddenly he starts moving his hands a bit, which is called gesticulation, I guess, while talking. And suddenly I smell his pungent, putrid B.O. And immediately my wow turns into ew. And no, it doesn't matter how expensive your cologne is. I myself am so conscious about making sure that I smell good, so you can follow my lead. A. Shower regularly, which is obvious, but only to some people apparently. B. Which is the most important one here. When you're in the shower, uh, wash your armpits with an antibacterial soap and believe me, you'll be amazed by the results. And C. When you're going to leave home, wipe your armpits with wet wipes 
or simply a damp cloth that you can make out of your old t-shirts as I do and then apply your deodorant. This too will make a huge difference. 9. Ultra skinny jeans Especially when you're showing too much ankle. Again, don't you think it's a tad bit girly? And 10. Too much beard and moustache or moustache Even though it's sort of trendy around the world, I'm not a huge fan of beards in general, especially when you have too much of it and particularly when your moustache is covering your lips. Alright guys, that was my 10 biggest turn-offs in terms of appearance and grooming. I hope I haven't hurt anyone's feelings here because um, this is the last thing I would be willing to do. And that's exactly why I didn't talk about things like height or skin tone or eye color because they cannot be changed or controlled. On the other hand, taking good care of our hygiene and um, daily grooming routine uh, can make us um, feel much better about ourselves and possibly change our entire game. Stay handsome and see you in my next video. Cheers!